Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. A very good afternoon to you all. I hope you've all had a really nice morning. We are back with another coin hunt on the channel. This is actually the final £50 of a £250 bag. We've got £500 more to look through over the next few days. So every coin hunt that you will see over the next couple of days will all be at least a £100 coin hunt. That way we will get some more coins, well hopefully we will, into this third book we are doing together. We haven't found any rare coins in the last four £50 coin hunts. Hopefully though this bag does contain something and it saved it till last. So here we go then, five bags in total, £10 in each bag, £50 to look through. Let's get coin hunting and find some rare coins. Hope again you've all had a really nice morning. A question answers video will be going up this evening as we hit our first commemorative in the first bag. Hopefully a sign of things to come. We have got the 2017 Benjamin Bunny, the most common of those Beatrix Potters. I will be signing the back of that coin and getting it out into circulation and you never know, you might one day find a signed Dan's Dollars Benjamin Bunny in your change. Can we find any more in the second bag? At the end of the video as always, I'll check through all of those coins, checking the shields, checking those Britannias for the rarer dates. We are looking for 2017 primarily for the shield. And as for the Britannia, we will be looking for 2008. Again, those coins worth around the £1.25 to £1.50. Not too bad, tripling your face value. We've got our second coin then, the Christopher Ironside. This coin was actually voted the coin that everyone seems to be finding the most at the moment. Again, please do let me know. Share below if you have found a specific coin a lot recently. Hopefully, it's the Kew Gardens that you found a lot of. As we find our third coin, Paddington Crazy Eyes outside St. Paul's Cathedral. I'm sure a lot of people will have been finding a lot of those really common coins. The Benjamin Bunnies, the Tale of Peter Rabbits, etc. But again, if there is a standout coin that seems to be popping up a lot in your change, please do let me know so we know exactly what's about at the moment. Unbelievably, it does look like the most common coin is making an appearance. We have got our second Christopher Ironside. A lot of those that we seem to be finding at the moment seem to be, unfortunately, in pretty poor condition. However, it's still a coin find. I do put all the common ones back into circulation. So again, giving everyone that fair opportunity to find them. And you never know, you may actually find one of the coins that we found on the channel. You probably never know unless I sign it. But there probably is a good chance that one that I have found is sitting in your collections at home. So on to the final bag of the 250. Let's see if we can hit something and we have unbelievable. The best till last. There could be something even better though. We have hit the squirrel nutkin. You don't see these very often these days. That is for sure. The first year the Beatrix Potters were released. This coin along with the Jemima Potter up were definitely two that were fished out of circulation very quickly in that first year. Going into 2017, especially 2018, it was nearly impossible to find the Jemima, it still is today, but that squirrel nutkin was definitely fished out early, so finding one in 2022, six years later, definitely going to be happy with that. So let's see what we found. We found two Christopher Ironsides, the Paddington St. Paul's, we've also got the Benjamin Bunny, but I think the star find, it's not a bad quality one either. The lighting does make them look a little bit better, but the star find for me, it's got to be that beautiful squirrel nutkin 50p coin. Again, there'll be another coin on up this evening, at least £100 worth. Plenty more videos as well, and again, I really do hope that you're enjoying your day, hoping your coin hunts are going well at home, and getting some nice coins into your collections. If you haven't found any coins recently, I do promise you, if you stick at it, you will find some. And again, they'll make their way into your collections at home. Stay safe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.